hey guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Debbie you can see in this video I have an asymmetric skirt and I'll be showing you how to make the pattern and you know if this is what you would like to learn then let's get to it all right for this um, style or design I need my back pattern pieces the two back pattern pieces very important and here i have my hip line and my desired length and i also my desired new length okay this is my front pattern and of course it's a full front pattern all right so my seam allowance has been added already okay and here I'm going to be lowering the waist by one inch and you do this by folding it okay you can see what I'm doing I'm measuring one inch from the waist line okay and once I'm done with that I'm going to fold the dots and measure one inch as well folding the dart as shown and right now i am connecting the point that i marked All right, so I'm cutting it out right now and I'll go ahead and repeat the same on the back pattern pieces. Okay, so I've attached together with pins. Okay, so because it has to be one. So I'm cutting it right now. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done, I'm going to bring down my dart line. And for me, I need to, you know, measure my bust man divided by two to have my dart line from the waistline down, of course. So you can see what I did here and from the hip line I'm measuring down 5 inches and you can measure 3 inches if you want it to be higher and on the side front as well I measure 3 inches and I'm connecting the two points together so you can go as high as 3 inches from the hip line and probably 2 inches from the desired new upward okay so you can see what i'm doing i am connecting it to the desired new okay i measured 2.5 inches inward from the side front line okay so now drawing the curve here has no rule to it you can draw it anyhow you want it just be creative with it you can see the way i'm drawing it i'm erasing redrawing erasing redrawing until i felt until i felt it was okay okay so then you measure from the hemline upward to this point and note the measurement okay now here I have my back pattern piece this is the wrong side so I'm going to place it like this on the wrong side of the fabric that's what I mean okay why the 
front would also be placed just the same way on the right side of the fabric i hope you understand so all the point i um highlighted or marked on the front i'm transferring to the back pattern you can see so now for the back pattern i need to also you know try to draw a line that would just you know fit into the front and of course i needed to overlap the zipper allowance which is 0 0.75 inches okay so you can see what i'm doing right now i'm just trying to connect from that point i marked to this very point so and here i i came down by 1.625 not planned anyway so i need to do the adjustment on the front pattern so whatever you do on the side because the side has to come together so it's very important that everything has to match up so that's why i'm doing all of this so i'm trying to blend in the curve line that i drew earlier into the new point that I marked on the side front. So you can see what I have. So now to complete the back, I need to mark the 0 0.75 inch um, zipper allowance and try to overlap it because everything has to come together at the end of the day once the zipper has been attached in between. Okay, and the zipper allowance is also being noted throughout the hem line of the back, you can see. So I am trying to mark it out as well. All right, so I am redrawing the line. And you can make the back pattern, you know, the line to be a bit curvy if you want. So this is what I have, and I'm going to be cutting right now. So this is what I have. You can see what I have. So I can now unpin the upper part. So this is what I have right now. So here I'm going to place it like this on the wrong side of the back fabric. So labeling it my side back, side back, very important. Okay. So, and I'm going to make this one piece. You can see okay so now I have it one so next is to cut the front out Now, this is what I have for the 
front and I'm going to be cutting it. Now, if you want to, using this method will make you have a balanced hem. But if you don't want a balanced hem, if you want something like this, something like the picture on your screen right now, then you can just cut a 360 degree flare and attach. But you also need to determine the length. Okay, the length, your desired length of the flare has to be determined by you. Okay, so once you are done, then you cut a 360 degree flare and you attach. And you know, you can have a an unbalanced hemline. Unbalanced hemline attaching a 360 degree flare gives you an unbalanced hemline. But this method would automatically give you a balanced hemline. I hope you understand my point. So now look look at what I'm doing right now. So after cutting it, I spread on another paper okay and attaching about 0.25 hem allowance okay so and this is what i have right now so you can spread as much as you want i spread with 1.5 some 1.25 even some one inch so i just spread it the way i liked so i wasn't really but I just made sure that it's not the spreading is not more or it's not less than um one inch okay so for the front i'm going to be doing the same thing okay So you can see so i will attach another paper on this side and this is what i have you can see so right now for this i'm going to close it that so that i can i can lower the front the center from by half an inch okay or you can lower it by one inch or three quarter of an inch but don't let it be less than okay one, uh, don't let it be less than half an inch okay so this is just half an inch on the center front and using my curve ruler or a straight ruler Okay, so now I can trim out. All right. So, and for the facing, because um, this skirt is going to be a bandless kind of skirt, okay? No waistband, but the waist is going to have a facing just like a neckline facing. Okay, so and this is what I have. My facing is about 1.5 inches. And of course, you can see how I did it with my tracing wheel. So I don't need to cut it out. All I need to do is to trace it on another paper. Okay. So, and I'm adding a quarter of an inch to the down part, okay? And I also reduced the waistline measurement on the facing by 
one eighth of an inch. You can see 